This country keeps amazing me with all the technology they are developing and they are already putting in the streets. Uh, you can see the driver is just there, like he's not touching the steering wheel because his hands are near the steering wheel but he's not touching it at all. Uh, there is a car passing by us, next to us, and the car or the sensor is detecting it. everyone and we are right now one more time in the city of Guangzhou. I'm so excited because today we're gonna have a chance to try the autonomous driving technology developed by Baidu. This time we're gonna try those little autonomous driving cars as a taxi. So remember last time I was in Chongqing showing you the autonomous buses, something like this. This time we're gonna give a try to the taxis. This technology is already in use and people can actually ride those taxis. They can hail the taxis through a Polo Go app and actually go around. Later on, we're gonna get in those cars and start riding those cars and see how is this technology developed by Baidu, those self-driving cars with no drivers. How amazing it is. I've told you how amazed I am by this technology because I, you never expect that it's gonna, going to be in use or on the streets so fast, so quickly. I remember I was watching like flying cars and stuff on TV, on cartoons, and then suddenly I'm right now living in China. This country keeps amazing me with all the technology they are developing and they are already putting in the streets for people to use and enjoy. So later, we're gonna get in those cars and try them and see how it feels to be in a car that has no driver, it's just being managed or driven by a computer and a wireless system that will take us all around this district here in the city of Guangzhou. So you can see behind me uh, the fleet of the cars that we have available today for us to ride and go around the Hanpu uh, district here in Guangzhou. And you can see some of the designs, some of the cars have very cool designs so people can easily identify them. Some others are like plain white but they do of course have the logo on the door so people can know uh, which and where are these cars. have several uh, vehicles from the brand Hongqi is a Chinese uh, manufacturer of cars and most of the fleet for the autonomous driving vehicles that belong to Baidu uh, are for this brand out of this brand We're already in the robot taxi and we're going to start our ride. This is a pre-scheduled or pre-set up route of course for this car. But the cool thing is we're not going to have a driver. Actually there is a safety driver of course on the driver's seat just in case. Same like I explained to you guys for the robot bus. There is a safety driver that is L4 self-driving or autonomous driving level here in China that requires a steering wheel manually drive the car in case of an emergency or a, or a safety situation. But other than that, the car will drive, be driven by itself all around the road. So Here in front of us, we have like a tablet 
with all the information of our ride. You have you see the picture of the car and you have the route, the starting point and the end point, how long it's gonna take us, it's around three minutes and the length of the ride is 1.7 kilometers. So all the information is in Chinese, we are in China and perhaps in the future they might develop an English version for international users but so far is going to be in Chinese. So let's see what is going to be the information they're going to display. Right, there you go. So basically we have a screen here with the same information as the uh, driver or in the front seats. Uh, you can see the driver is just there, like he's not touching the steering wheel, which is crazy. I just love this technology, how, how it is like, you see, his hands are near the steering wheel, but he's not touching it at all. The car is driving by itself and it's kind of, I don't know, scary somehow, but amazing in the other hand, uh, being in a car that is being driven by itself, by a computer. We've reached that level of development in technology, my friends. Here in China, you can see already on the streets, people can already ride this car. They can just use the Apollo Go app to help this car and start riding from one point to the other. So here you can see in the screen, same as the rubber bus, this car of course is equipped with a lot of sensors that can detect all the objects around it. So you can see the different cars. You have three cars and in the, in the real time when they're moving. So I'll show you here and I show you in the screen is exactly the same information that is really amazing how it can detect all kind of objects around the car. Cars, other cars, bicycles, motorcycles, people, other kind of objects and you can see it's, it's making a U-turn by itself. This is really amazing. I just love the way it works how perfect, how safe, how precise this technology is. Um, and then you can see uh, there is a car passing by us, next to us, and the car or the sensor is detecting it. It's a very smart and efficient system that can detect all kind of objects around. Of course, this is necessary if you want a car to drive by itself. There's no human uh, intervention uh, in real time with this car. The human intervention will happen only if it's necessary. Uh, that's why we have this guy here uh, just making sure everything works correctly. There is no problem. Again, his hands are not touching the steering wheel at all. And we can see here there's a little bit, bit of track jam and the car's sensors can detect every single car around us. Every car you can see here outside and it's being detected. It's all displayed in this screen for us to be informed. Okay, so it's parked, the car uh, right now is not riding, so the Porsche speed shows zero kilometers per hour. And it's going to show us the route. Here in the corner, you can see this is going to be the route we're going to take. It should make, uh, later on after the traffic lights turn to green, make a left turn, and you can see here, in the screen showing us where it's going to be the next uh, direction the car will take. The car system is synchronized via 5G with all the sensors that out, are set up outside of the street and it's actually synchronized with the traffic light. So the car knows how long it's going to take for the next green light to appear and let us cross or, or let us go on. This is a district, this is not downtown Guangzhou, this is a district a little bit far from downtown. It might take you around 45 minutes to get here. But still, uh, it's a very well-developed district, so there you might find some traffic jam on the streets at some point, uh, just like right now. So you can interact a little bit. Uh, let's see what is ha what happens. Oh, you can play some music. Let's see if we can play some music here. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, so cool. You can you can play your own music controlled by yourself. Okay, we're riding now again. Starting, let's just pause the music because otherwise you won't be able to hear. And then I say, I like. We just stopped right before uh, the green line keeps going. Just turn to red right now. There's some pedestrian passing by in front and some bikes. And you can see, and 
the sensors are detecting them in real time. I keep being impressed by this type of technology, like how precise it is, because it's actually showing in real time what is going on around the car. For safety, it's for you to know if there are other cars and other people going around. So I think uh, that is awesome. You make you feel like safer, right? And this is a very new technology all around the world. Some people might not feel that safe. Uh, writing this kind of technology but understanding it writing it like we're doing right now and uh, knowing how it works knowing how many uh, safety systems it has makes you feel more uh, safe more uh, confident on riding this type of cars Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching, stay safe until next time.